At this art gallery in Seattle's Queen Anne neighborhood, the exhibit is always evolving. You might see a work of Impressionism or modern art, a portrait or a photo, or something perfectly one of a kind. As different as the mediums may be, these works do share something in common. The idea that a piece doesn't need to be large in size to make a major impact. This is a free little art gallery. Um, people can take a piece, they can leave a piece, or just have a look around, and people do it all. It's even got its own nickname, The Flag. Stacy Mulraney is the gallery's creator and curator. When I see something early in the morning, uh, it's a little like Christmas. I love going out there and seeing what's new. The only guidelines here, leave the fixtures and figurines. So there aren't too many rules. Anybody is welcome to leave a piece. Um, working artists, professional artists leave pieces. Little kids leave pieces. People of all ages leave pieces. We saw a literal line of folks forming just to get a glimpse at the treasures inside. Found this cute little thing in there. So I took it. I was leaving off some artwork. Particularly at this time, it's dark, it's bleak. This is a little bit of joy. Oh, Over the past few months, nearly 300 pieces of art have been displayed here. There's a kind of magic in this teeny tiny space. It's like a magnet. It brings people together. Like neighbors are out here meeting each other safely. It's a little surprise. It's an unexpected surprise. I, I think when you see something handmade, and uh, something that a human has touched. For art lovers who can't see the flag in person, Stacy shares the exhibits on Instagram. When she started the free little art gallery last December, Stacy wasn't sure what the reaction would be. I love how much joy that it's bringing to other people. And I didn't know that it would be instantly popular or supported. You should take the other one. It's changed the landscape of the street and how people experience it. It's really fun to see people paying attention to art and looking up instead of in their own world. Like a captivating piece of mixed media, the gallery was inspired by a combination of ideas. I did it originally for my own, um, kind of the same reason I make art, for my own joy and amusement. Then there's a little free library a few doors down. For a while I thought it would be really funny to have another little free library here as a, you know, it's a dueling little free library. But an art gallery just made a lot more sense considering what I love to do. Stacy is an artist herself. I am a um, pretty close observer of people in the world, and a lot of my art is inspired from um, people watching, people listening. The COVID crisis impacted her work too. When the pandemic started, I started making these very little pieces of art, four by six postcard size. She started sending them to family, friends, and Instagram followers. And I ended up sending out about probably 500, close to 500 pieces. I love them. Stacy learned you. how many masterpieces can make a big difference in someone's life. And now she's making that possible for others too. Art of any kind and, and, and elements of human expression of any size, um, can bring people together and remind people that there are other people around us, even, even if we're not um, physically together. Malia Karlinski, Seattle Refined.